my goodness! She's dead! She's dead! Our first big buck was really nice. I'm trying not to get too excited and like ready because I think that they all look big. <laughs> so I'm trying not to get too excited and really look at it and see if that's one that I want to get. I decided not. I decided to pass on this one because I think we're gonna find a bigger one. But it was really awesome to see. The first day we went out, I knew it was gonna be bad. I knew it was gonna be snowy and not fun. Uh, it was blowing and snowing, wet snow got drenched, got everything drenched, but kind of the name of the game out here on this late hunt is to cover a lot of ground, cover numbers, and uh, hopefully run into a buck that, uh, you know, I keep telling Kaylee, I'll, I want her to shoot whatever she wants to shoot, and then she keeps looking at me like, well, I want to shoot something you want. I'm like, you, whatever gets you excited. Never killed an animal before. She wanted the whole experience, which I think we've given her, and now we just need to punch a tag and kill a deer and then harvest the meat off it. That would be the complete experience for her, and I think that'd be a really good first experience. So that's what we're gonna do today. So go find her a buck, kill it, and uh, then process it and uh, get on home. I know she's missing the kids, so let's go get, get on after it. Oh my goodness, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> See the right on the very far? There you go. Being in the business to hopefully inspire others to get out and enjoy the outdoors, and especially hunting, maybe I had failed at inspiring the person closest to me. My wife Kaylee has been probably the biggest supporter of the Hush channel over the years. She has always been the support behind my idea of creating hunting and fishing content. In fact, I would say if it wasn't for her, we might not be sitting here today. Even though she was the biggest support of me starting the Hush channel, she wasn't sure if she wanted to take part in the actual hunting herself until this year. In the great state of Idaho, as a parent, as an adult, you are allowed to put in for the draws and if successful, you can pass that tag down to one of your immediate children. In years past, I've put Kaylee in in hopes she might draw a tag and be able to pass it down to one of our kids. Well, this year, she drew one of the better tags in the state of Idaho for deer. After talking with her about it and talking about the opportunities and possibilities this tag could present, she decided maybe this year she would try it for herself. What? Two bullets touching it means you're doing the same thing perfectly. When Casey told me that I drew a really good tag in Idaho, he was so excited about it. My first thought was, I'm gonna give that to Braley because that's what I have done in the past. But we realized very soon after that that she's 18, so she's now an adult, and I couldn't pass the tag on to her. So I thought about it for a couple of days and decided that I was gonna try it. Ever since I've known Casey, I have understood that he's had this deep passion for hunting. And over the past 11 plus years, I've really watched that passion grow and I've watched him share that passion with, with hunters and non-hunters on the internet. And it's been very inspiring to me. And I understand that passion as far as his desire to provide meat for our family. And he's passed that passion on to my kids and I'm so grateful for that. Watching him go on these hunts and coming home and talking about them and then watching the video go along with it, I think that that is what really made me decide to go on this hunt, to experience, not just watch and hear about the stories, but to experience hunting and what it is really like to be out there. And I'm glad that I decided to do it. 
Every night when we sit down to eat dinner, we always talk about who provided the meat for the meal that we are going to be eating, whether it is Gage, Braley, or Casey. To hear about the hunt and the memories that they made together on these hunts is always so fun. And I am really genuinely excited that I am kind of going outside of my comfort zone and I'm going to give myself the opportunity to be a part of that conversation. To be honest, I was a little nervous about going out on this hunt. I felt prepared as far as the clothes that I had to wear. I knew I was in good hands, but it is hard to be prepared for the unknown. I didn't know when it came down to it if I was going to be capable of being a hunter and pulling the trigger but I am so glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone and decided to go out and see what hunting was really all about. We've been married for almost 20 years now. What I can tell you is I didn't think there would be a day that I could convince her she needed to go sit in a snowstorm with me and look for critters. You didn't tell me about the snowstorm. Well, I kind of tricked her. But here we are, sitting in a snowstorm. She's got binoculars on her chest and a deer tag in her pocket. What's your thoughts and feelings right now? What are my thoughts and feelings? Yeah. Um, I also didn't think that I would be sitting out here with you in the snowstorm. But I am grateful for the experience. We didn't know it would be snowing. It just adds to the experience, right? Like besides the snowstorm and the weather, what are you open to like obtain from this trip? Do you is like shooting the deer like what you're really open for? Or that would just be icing on the cake. Do you just want to like to get to know for yourself like what this hunting thing is? What are you open to take away from this? I am hoping to have like a real hunting experience. I am looking forward to hiking in. I'm looking forward to finding a buck. I'm looking forward to feeling comfortable shooting. And I'm looking forward to hopefully finding a big buck and shooting it and making you so proud. It doesn't and have to be, it does, like, does it have to be a big buck? Well, it doesn't have to be a big buck to me. Like what would a big buck look like, do you think? I... Okay, fine. I want to kill the biggest buck out of my family. Like, Love fine. it. You <laughs> see how I just, at first I had to like get out my little like garden shovel, just, you know, flipping some quads over, put that away, got out like the square nose shovel, started doing a little more excavation, and then at the end I was literally in my track hoe trying to peel away the layers just to figure out that she is just as competitive as Braley is. Listen. She wants to kill the biggest deer out of the family. Bottom line. Of course period, I Period, exclamation mark. Fast forward, I was probably killing the biggest buck of the whole family. Okay, but also there's so many, there's years of layers to this. You know, I've watched you. I know how passionate you are. I want to experience that with you. Years of layers of emotion and I don't know. But at the end of the day, you want to kill the biggest buck? Yes, I do, but it means it's more than that. <laughs> Love it. Casey spotted a buck. It was really nice. I'm trying not to get too excited and like ready because I think that they all look big. <laughs> So I'm trying not to get too excited and really look at it and see if that's one that I want to get. I decided not. I decided to pass on this one because I think we're going to find a bigger one. But it was really awesome to see. Yeah. That was your first passed deer. That was like you passed on a deer Ooh. for the first time ever. <laughs> Trophy hunters. <laughs> just take those pants off and put the other ones on. Would you just take those pants off or leave them on? It's a lot of pants switching. We are going to head back to the same spot we started this thing on yesterday morning. Uh, we went into a spot yesterday in hopes to like kind of look over the country, glass couple canyons I wanted to check out. But unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate with us. It was snowing and blowing. And then once that felt like that was going to push out, the fog came in. So I don't think there was more than about, I don't know, 20 minutes yesterday morning that we could see over 100 yards. 
And for us, and for the way we like to hunt, that isn't very conducive. So we're gonna go back in there, because I don't think, we did see actually two bucks right outside the road in literally a snowstorm. We could barely see them and they were 150 yards away. But anyway, uh, it didn't tell us what we wanted to be told. We didn't get to check anything off, of, off the box because we weren't able to glass. So we're gonna go back in there. Hopefully today's clear, it's supposed to be. Hopefully zero wind, or were you hoping for wind today? I, re I really enjoyed the wind yesterday, so I'm just hoping for more. She's new to this, but what she like what she gathered yesterday when we got back, she goes, everything was beautiful, everything worked out. She goes, I just need more wind, is what she said. So hopefully we can give the hunter what she needs.
craziness and a lot of emotions. Now I know what to prepare for. So I don't know. I, I feel like I should have decided a little quicker, but it's okay. It's okay. I have to be. What are we doing, Ricky? You know, I've said this on other hunts with my children, and I feel like it's a very valuable lesson if you're taking new hunters out. You gotta give the hunter what they want. What my wife told me she wanted today was she wanted to find some deer, some borderline shooter bucks, and then she wanted to stop on the side of the road, have a fire in the snow, and then she wanted some homemade chicken noodle soup cooked on a Camp Chef striker. So luckily for her, I figured she was gonna want that on the second day of the hunt. So we brought everything to do that, just on a whim. So we're gonna cook up some chicken noodle soup that I prepared last night, and then have a fire to warm our feet, and then we're gonna go find a big beer, a big deer or beer, not sure yet, and shoot it. And then it's gonna be a complete day. You excited about chicken noodle soup? I'm so excited about chicken noodle soup. It's a little warmer today. Yeah, it's great. That's great. So good. So good. Cracker. Wow. Hey, mm. right. have you heard our motto yet? Just because you're in the back country doesn't mean what? You can't eat like a king. All that is is a camp chef striker. It's a store bought homemade chicken noodle soup. All that requires is a little preparation. The stove, and you're eating. We're 13 miles from the truck, and we're eating like. Right at a local diner. I want you to look at it and let him through here, babe. Okay, look at him right through there. Finally ended up finding a nice, 
butcher deer last night. But I told Kaylee, I said, man, elk deer, I don't, I don't care what animal is you're hunting. If it's blowing hard, they just don't like to be out. Today we came in here and it was night and day different. We, we've seen deer all over. Nice deer too. So, but I want her to make the final decision if it's something that gets her really excited. But she told me at the start of this hunt, she's like, I don't know what's really big. Like I've seen, like everything I see looks big. Well now we're kind of like showing you deer that are like really nice, but maybe, well, let's look for the step ahead. So I think when you see that, now you're gonna know, not just me and Logan, but you're gonna know, okay, that's the next next level buck. So tomorrow I want you to be like, that's okay, it's a nice one, but if you see one that you think, you, I want you to be like, give, I promise me, if I see give it, me the gun. I'll tell you. Okay. I like it. Today was a good day. Today was a great day. It was a great day. It's fun. Yeah. There's definitely a, there's a reason why this is a very hard tag to draw. I think a lot of people put in for it because they know. There's a lot of deer in this unit and a lot of good bugs. From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Some snow overnight continuing this morning and off and on for the rest of the day. And notice visibility is down to below a mile in Mountain Home, down below a mile in Jerome and near a mile in Twin Falls. Moderates of heavy snow showers have been moving through across the Snake River Valley. And Boise has just dropped a bit as another band of snow is moving in right now. So let's take a look at that on Storm Tracker. You can see a band coming out of eastern Oregon. Moderate snow showers for the next hour or so as you head out on your morning commute. Watch for that lower invisibility. Well, uh, woke up to a little surprise this morning. When we started getting ready to come over on this hunt earlier, well, this week, I'd looked at the weather, and what it was showing me was, you know, I was preparing Kaylee for cold weather, you know, late season hunt, obviously. Uh, got her all the right first light gear, and then I started looking at the weather, and I was like, man, it's really not going to be that cold. It's going to be like, what it was telling me was like 45 as a high, and then, you know, 18, 19, 20 degrees as a cold in the morning, which is cold, but not this time of year. This time of year, this hunt, you really are hoping for really cold weather, some storms, some snow. Uh, but to a new hunter, that doesn't like register in their head, that snow and cold, like the first day we were over here, it was miserable. It was a miserable day for the, for Kaylee, it was a miserable day for us. It was just, you know, snowing and blowing. What I told her was the next day should be really good because, you know, during a storm, especially a wind storm, every animal I've ever hunted in the West don't like being out in it. So the first day was really slow. It was a tough day, especially for your first hunt. But then yesterday was nice. The storm had blown out and they, we saw some critters and Kaylee like recognized that. She even made the statement that like it felt like we were on a different planet, you know, yesterday compared to the first day because there were so many deer out. Anyway, we wake up this morning and dude, we got like four, three inches of snow down here in town, probably, you know, upwards of six to eight up in the mountains. It's going to snow for the next couple hours. It was a miserable experience the first time we tried to hunt in the snow. Just told Kaylee, I said, go back to bed. We're going to let this thing pass, and then we'll get out this afternoon. It's supposedly going to clear up around 10, 11 this morning. So instead of going out at 6, we're going to go out, see what the weather does, and then go out um, this afternoon. But me and Logan were <laughs> high-fiving this morning when we looked outside because snow equals better visibility for deer. It's easier to spot deer. Plus, this this hunt is a rut hunt, but it's also a migration hunt. And a lot of these deer aren't resident deer to this area, so any more snow we can accumulate while we're here, I think the better chance more bucks are going to start piling in. Anyway, we have a plan for this morning. We're going to go hunt some little bit different country where we we're going to this morning. Uh, hunt a little bit different country and just see what was there. But uh, I think we'll uh, go back to the drawing board and see what what we want to do after the storm, we might go back to the same exact spot we've been in the last couple of days, but we'll get on on next and try to make the very best plan. But guys, we're not even halfway done with this hunt yet. We've hunted for two days. We still have three more, including today. So I like how things are happening. Snowy start, but we're getting out there. Feel good, feel good. 
I'm so warm right now. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, we finally got out of the house. You know, I'm a big believer in maybe it's not the very, sorry, best day to be out, but as long as you're out, you have an opportunity. But for a new hunter, it's, it's not fun for their first experience. So first day was tough, it was rough, it was cold. Um, Kaylee didn't have a ball, but yesterday was phenomenal. She was, even she was like, man, it feels like we're a total different planet. Not, not nearly as cold, we're seeing deer. So this morning when we woke up and there it dropped four inches of snow at the house and it was still snowing, I'm like, we're not gonna take a step back and go back to miserable. So we took the morning off, which I think is a good call. Hopefully you can find that buck that just Gets Kaylee excited, and uh, once she wants to shoot, and if not, we still have two more days. But uh, sometimes, and I told Kaylee this multiple times, sometimes you have to go through the bad days, the bad weather, slow times to have the really phenomenal days. And uh, obviously that's what we had yesterday, was a really banner day. And maybe today is gonna be slow, but tomorrow will be just that much better, hopefully. I can see it better if we spell and scope in here. Hold on. Just doesn't have much on that back end. You can tell he's a little heavier than some of the other bucks we've seen. Yeah. I like how he looks. <laughs> it's kind of hard with the. I think we can get he's a little shaking. closer to him. Guys, we were just coming up here to this new area that my buddy told me about. And honestly, I didn't love it like the first five, six miles because this is all an old burn from like 2012. We can tell because Onyx has a fire layer that will tell you when the fire occurred. And so this is all a fire from 2012. And so all the really good feed for deer all got burnt. And then you got a bunch of this cheat grass, which isn't really good for anything. But we got to the base of the hill and it started looking a little more like deer country. And immediately we found a buck. I got excited. I glassed with my binos from like 1500 yards away and he looked big but I don't think he's quite as big as what we're looking for but we're gonna get a little closer it's hard in this wind to get scope set up and tell what he is so we're gonna try to get another thousand yards closer than really there's another deer up there anyway how you feeling good liking it yeah weather's it's exciting. not weather's not great but it's okay but I told you there's a chance they could we could run into a deer even in this weather so I'm happy we took our chances like like how things are happening <laughs>
Well, the weather's not cooperating all that well with us. We came out this afternoon and we thought it was just supposed to be cloudy. And dude, we got on a really nice buck, had a trident claw on the back. We wanted to get a better look, but then we got hit with a snowstorm. It was hard getting back. My wife had to lend me her yeah, goggles. Yeah, my goggles. Thank goodness. Thank goodness you convinced me to buy you some goggles because I don't know if we'd have been back. <laughs> Snow's hit me right in the eyeballs. I didn't want to take them off. I was like, I wonder if I should drive. And then it's like, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Take them. So you're just like, here, Casey, I'm going to drive because I've got the goggles. <laughs> well, we got two days left. We're time, I think, I like where we're at. I do too. We've Every day we've seen more mature deer, and I think they keep getting just a little bit more mature. We're, we are supposed to have good weather tomorrow, though. Again, bad weather most of the day. Wind, snow, supposed to, it's going to snow all night, as you can see up in the high country. So hopefully tomorrow it clears, temps are cold, and there's just no wind. The deer will be up on their feet active most of the day. It is exciting. It's exciting to think about what we will see because of what we have seen today. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Hope Santa Claus comes. <laughs> Well, here we are, a uh, little new, new, different spot. But what we wanted to do was go and glass above some fields this morning first thing. We'll say it's because we thought there might be some big bucks over there. Also, we thought it was too cold this morning to get right after it. So, went and burned about an hour, but uh, still cold. So, been looking at this road on Onyx. It's gonna get us eventually to some of the country we were in the first couple days. <clears throat> it also allows us to see a bunch of country we haven't seen yet. So. Kind of the name of the game out here on this late hunt is to cover a lot of ground, cover numbers, and uh, hopefully run into a buck that uh, we want to shoot. I, you know, I keep telling Kaylee, I'll, I want her to shoot whatever she wants to shoot, and then she keeps looking at me like, well, I want to shoot something you want. I'm like, you, whatever gets you excited. Anyway, I think any buck would get her excited. So, any four point buck. Never killed an animal before. She wanted the whole experience, which I think we've given her. And now we just need to punch a tag and kill a deer and then harvest the meat off it. And that would be the complete experience for her, and I think that'd be a really good first experience. So that's what we're gonna do today. So go find her a buck, kill it, and uh, then process it, and uh, get on home. I know she's missing the kids. Uh, we've been gone for a total of three and a half days, so it feels like an eternity to it, mother. Um, so let's go get get on after it. I started looking at all my waypoints I've dropped on Onyx of where all where we've seen the mature bucks. And I realized everything we've seen is between 5,600 feet and 6,200 feet elevation in that, you know, 600 foot gap line. And so that's kind of where we're at right now, but in the tree. It's a little windy, so the wind's coming out of, see it feels like the west. So we're trying to get into some canyons that are protected by the wind and once you drop into this canyon it's peaceful but no deer in there some tracks coming out of it but onward and upward i guess just gotta find them can't kill them until you find them Got outsmarted, guys. Dang. Dang. I, I feel like we needed that today, though. Like, that sucked, but... The stock? Yeah. Yeah, that was perfect stock. What we've noticed is none of these deer have been too super spooked to the side-by-side -side until we stop and sit there and glass them for 10, 15 minutes and try to make our mind up if we want to shoot one, and then they run. So I'd, I'd recognized a ridge and a tree like before we got to the deer. So we parked in front of that, hiked up the ridge, and it was gonna be like maybe 150 yards to where the last time we saw him in a little quakey patch. And so we snuck up the hill and 
They were gone. They weren't there. I don't know where they went. We thought maybe they circled around. They were definitely on high alert when we saw them, but I thought it was because of the coyote that came up out of the reservoir. Because all the deer we were spotting on the hillside were all looking down in one direction. It was where this coyote was running up. But they were obviously on high alert, heard us, and then... Took off. Boogie, boogied. But you're right. We needed that. Yeah. It's just another step in the right direction. Yeah. But that was good. It was... We came up blind... I think if they would have stayed there, if they wouldn't have been such a ner so nervous, I think you would have shot one, shot that buck at 150 yards, and he would have never known we were there. But he did, and he left, so. Do you understand Let's why it takes on. me so long on hunts now? Yes, I do. You're starting to grasp the idea of you would like to be killed, killed out on day one or two. Sometimes it's a process. Yeah. say it's always about steps finally found the bot like no questions asked look through the spotting scope Duh, that's a shooter now we just gotta go figure out way to, how to hunt him he's around does but he's not like with the does hold on he's about 200 yards from the does we get to get a shot but it's gonna be like 650 is too far Kaylee doesn't feel comfortable shooting that far so we're gonna go around and try to get like two to three hundred yards depending on what he does tonight, but he's a shooter. I just got deer right here I want to look at. I don't know if it's him, but another buck. Like 400 yards.
actual Kaylee, that's as close to shooting a really nice deer as you can possibly get. To, to be hunt 326 yards away from the biggest buck we've seen on this hunt so far, have the crosshairs on him, just waiting for him to step out into a better, better shooting lane. That's hard to get closer than that. Yeah. So it's all steps, right? We're hunting, we're looking until we find a target and then we can hunt. We found the target, came and hunted him, we got close, we had to come and hunt him again until we kill him. Do you think that he'll be still be around here? He'll be close. He'll be somewhere and we'll be looking for him. Alright. How are you feeling? I feel like you're kind of... I felt a little discouraged. About that deer or about what? Um, maybe not making decisions quicker. Well, we knew we were going to kill that deer, right? Yeah. And so, I th you're, wor you're wishing that you would have made the decision to shoot that first deer on day two? Kind of. If you would have shot that deer, which would have been awesome, I think you would have been super happy. We, would have not, we wouldn't have experienced all this other stuff like yeah. that deer That's is. True. That was fun. And I not saying fun. the deer is the biggest, like the size of the deer is the biggest thing, but you can't say, oh, I wish I would have shot that deer, then we would be done. Yeah. This is a fun part to me is finding the biggest deer, finding that deer you want to shoot, and then hunting him. I agree. You decided not to shoot that first deer? Throw that out the window. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. I mean, we are. It's just like moments like that when we were sitting there that I was just like, that one was just right there. I wish, you know? I wish, you should be saying, I wish I would have just shot that one. I do. <laughs> That's I like the one we, we really want tried. after. Yeah, we did everything. Right. We sat this on him. We, all this... he had to do was come out behind a doe, and he decided to turn and go the other way. Yeah. I mean, we did all we could do. Yeah. So you just come put yourself in the same position or a better position tomorrow that he'll, you know, do what we want him to do, and we'll kill him. Yeah. Let's I get mean, out here before I, we bump I liked stuff. this, like, sneaking and hunting like that, so that was fun. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy we got to do that. Yeah. I mean, I wish it would have had a better ending. If you Fine. like that, you could do that all the way down to the truck and okay. practice it. No thanks, it's good. Pick you up in an hour. <laughs> I got I got told to stay back. Well, then what happened when you came up? No. He found I got him. I was him. on the I got him. him. <laughs> what happened? There he goes. It's all good. Like, I don't have a good side. I know. So let me try to hide you in the back. Guys, Kaylee, she doesn't know what you have, but she, what she's done for the last four days is worked herself to a situation where she finally gets to hear the phrase we use on this channel. That's all you've been doing the last four days. Earning the right to hear this phrase. You ready? Is it rude? It's not rude at all. It's a very positive phrase. Okay. You don't know what it is? You guys know what it is. Last day is better than the first day. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hopefully it's not snowing. <laughs> The last day is better than the first day because you have all that knowledge, all those experiences. Yeah. You've got to enjoy this whole hunt. We have more, we know more now than we did when we came in here. So the last day we should be pretty dialed, yeah. but also you've got your money's worth for the tag. You've got to experience everything. And now the last day we can go make it happen. Also, public service announcement, my wife wants to talk to you guys about, suckers. <laughs> if you're a child or if you're a grown uh, man or woman, don't act like a child, and don't chew on a sucker. You want to show them why? I chew my tooth. <laughs> you what? I chew my tooth. I chew my tooth. <laughs> it's not funny, and I'm really sad about it. <laughs> Kaylee chipped her tooth last night. If we would have, if we would have just taken care of things last night. Kids, <laughs> be careful. Grown-ups, don't act like kids. And also, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. Let's go kill it here. <laughs> Get on the gun. Can you find a deer? No. Yeah. Okay, let's look for the buck. Hold on. Give me your binos, Log. Does somebody have binos on them? I okay, I'm you see the group? I'm to see through this. Okay. Take my hat off. Okay. 
You see the big group? He's the second. Okay. Up here, babe. See him? Yeah. Can you see through the scope? I can see him, but I can't find him. He's gonna be up here. Okay. I cannot see. You have to move your head. Okay, he's in the first group. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're not gonna get a shot. Okay, grab the packs. By the time we got to the edge, they're already on to us. Let's watch where they go. Well, how close were we that time? So close. We uh, were trying to find this buck that we were on last night, and we are covering all this country that he was in. And, I mean, he didn't go far, maybe a half a mile from where we were at last night. But we pull up to a spot, and I could just look over just enough and see, like, three or four does bedded. I should have thought more about it, but I didn't. I was like, man, there's probably some deer, more deer down there. And I I don't know where I went to do. I walked around somewhere. Cody and Logan popped their head over, and I looked back, and they're like, big buck, big buck. And he was bedded in there. And I got the gun out for Kaylee. We got to the edge, and by the time we got set up, the deer had us pinned and took off. But we've got him. He's 650 yards right now. He has a bunch of does. What, 10, 12 does? More? Two small bucks, the big buck, and then probably 12 does. But they're... It's finally starting to calm down, so how are we feeling? Good. I feel good. I feel we found like it. Calm. Feel good about it? Like Tom Brady? <laughs> Just clutch. Just the goat. We don't even know it, but we have the goat with us right here. Last day. Find the biggest Brady. buck of the trip. I'm very impressed that you guys found him. It was all Cody's driving. Yeah. He put us in the right position. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna, we're calming down, we're letting them calm down, they're feeding now, so hopefully they bed down and then we have a play. It's just this wind, at, you know, 650 yards, this gun will do. I'm shoot, we uh, have the 3378 Weatherby. Took it to Thompson before the, the season started and got it dialed to 1,000, but that's just a hard shot. And then add wind to it, it's just, it's not in the bag of tricks. So hopefully we can get within 200. Fleet bets down and we'll go and kill him. And then the phrase, what's the phrase? What? I told you the phrase this morning. Wow, it didn't really stick. The last day is better than the first day. Last day is better than the first day. So I think we need to kill this big buck, then it will really stick with you. Yeah. You only get so many last days, right? You only get so many last days. That's a new <laughs> one. Maybe we'll add that to the repertoire. My eyes look beautiful in this camera, by the way, Logan. <laughs> no wonder Kaylee married me. on the right side of the group for the left side. Right. 
Really? Uh, yep, it will drift a little bit. You feel comfortable right there? You want me to zoom in a little bit? Yeah. Okay, calm down. I don't know if I can see him. What can you see? Oh, I see his antlers moving. What's that? I see his antlers moving. Okay. I'm going to click it off safety. Okay. Wait until... Okay, calm down. It's all in through what you're seeing. You see the antlers moving, that's okay. You feel calm, you feel steady. I feel like this is not like even, but. It's okay, don't worry about that. You're good, baby. He's, he's super chilled out. Oh shit. What's that? You're good, babe. Just calm and collect. Okay. He's, you see it good? You see him He's clearly? Right by the doe. Oh. You're okay. Don't shoot him yet. You see him right there? I just feel like I'll hit his guts. You're fine. Squeeze that trigger just slow. No. Huh? Slow and squeeze it. I'm nervous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am. It's a little wobbly. Let him turn. He's gonna turn. Okay, let him turn a little more. Okay, okay right there. Okay. Oh, the gun is wobbly. Squeeze it. Drilled him. Yeah, I'm on him. He's going down. Going down. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Giant, babe. I couldn't be more proud of you. <laughs> you just made one of the best shots I've ever seen. What did I tell you when you drew this tag and you were scared about shooting? I said, you'll shoot better than me. I'm so proud of you. Babe, you stuck with it. You stuck with it when a lot of guys wouldn't have. I love that you stuck to your guns. You didn't want to just kill a deer. You wanted to kill the right deer. Is that the right deer? Oh my goodness. You are a rock star. <laughs> I don't know why I hunt anymore. She just let you bravely engage. <laughs> Holy cow. I hope you know what you just did. That's a tough shot for most guys. <sighs> I'm so proud of you. I know you wanted to kiss my butt a couple times and I'm sorry the weather sucked, but it is what it is. Are you good? Yeah. You're just excited? Yeah. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> I hope this helps you understand why People get so passionate about the outdoors and doing this. Today was fun. It I've was. had such a fun time with you. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I'm I, shaking so bad. It's good. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the feeling. You, you got it. If you ever, I always say, if I lose this right here that you're experiencing, I'll be done with it. This is what's fun. This is what you know it's the best thing ever. Besides family and friends, this is, oh my goodness. <laughs> The last day is better than the first day! Dude! <sighs> Babe. Come here. Well, man, I when Kaylee drew this tag five, six months ago, <clears throat> you always have high hopes of what you hope to find. And, you know, it's a really good tag. They don't give out, you know, I think they only give out a handful of tags over here for this late hunt. But you always wonder, like, what could be? And I, we hunted hard for five days. We saw a lot of cool bucks. But you stuck to your guns. You weren't sure if you wanted to kill an animal. You weren't sure if you were going to be able to do it. But you told me after, you know, we looked over some, some nice deer, and you said, I don't want to just kill a deer. I want to kill the right deer. And so how are you feeling about Yeah, and I don't mean that like I want it to be a certain size or anything like that. I just wanted it to feel right. Sorry, I'm gonna That's good, babe. If you don't get emotional, then there's something wrong with you. I still get emotional after all these years of doing this. 
and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this animal and I'm grateful to be able to contribute to our family. When we eat dinner every night, we talk about, oh, this is Braley's deer, or this is dad's antelope, and you now I feel like I'll be able to contribute to that, and I'm very grateful. Um, I was just telling Casey when we were sitting up there waiting, not knowing for sure if we were gonna find him or what we were gonna do, he asked me, do you, you know, we were on another buck, do you wanna, do you wanna kill do you want to kill this buck or do you want to wait? And I told him that I wanted to wait and while we were sitting there not knowing and knowing I was passing up another buck that was great, I realized that I have loved this. I've loved hunting. I loved today and hiking through the snow. I loved yesterday hiking through the snow and I don't know if I'll always be the hunter but I do hope to go on more hunts. I hope to go on hunts with the kids and I'm just really grateful for this experience and I've learned a lot and yeah I mean I didn't I can't tell you exactly what I was hoping for out of your first hunt because you know we've talked about this over the years that maybe you just don't want to hunt and you don't have any ambitions to kill an animal so when you drew this tag and decided that you were going to hunt it I didn't know exactly what I wanted out of it for you but now looking back like I think you got exactly what you needed out of it and that was just to gain an appreciation for not only hunting, but for these animals and where they live and you know what it really takes to kill one. It's not like just go out for a day and shoot one. You gotta work hard because it, you know these animals live out here 365 days a year. But for you to say what you just said shows me that you got out of this hunt exactly what I would hope for now looking back. And that's the appreciation for all of it, the process of it. And I not- I loved watching their behavior, how they, just how they do survive, how they do move, and and everything about nature, really. It's just, you don't know what it's like until you're out here experiencing it. And I'm just, I really am just so grateful. Well, I couldn't be happier for you. I can't be happier for this deer, but also the, the how it went down and the experience that we got to share together the last five days. And take some meat home for the freezer, which is always a plus. But yeah, like you said, you know, next year, maybe you're not the one with the gun or the tag, but you can join me and the kids. And I think they would absolutely love that. I know I would, so. Now the fun part. We always say this, you work your ass off to hopefully work your ass off. And you get a deer down and now we get to cut him up, put it on our backs and hike it, you know, not too far, but the quarter, half mile back to the truck. And that's the fun part. So happy, babe. You did awesome. You were a rock star. Maybe you should just take all my tags from now on because you shoot way better than I do.